in this video we are going to create a website without writing any code this is more like a no code product in this website we are going to create our entire site using notion which we will host for free of cost using cloudflare and fruition site and we will also connect it with a free domain name that you can get from free norm so in a sense the entire website is free it's responsive if you haven't used notion it's a fantastic platform that i personally use for almost all of my work i use it in our agency where we use this to track our github issues i use it personally to write my blogs and of course my company site is also hosted using notion so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to notion.so and create our free account this is more like a google doc but it comes with amazing templates that you can directly use in order to create some application for example if i want to create a roadmap template i can check it out here and you can see we get a very good template if you are into marketing you want to create a media list you can get that over here and just like that you can use the existing template or you can also create a blank page so i want you to go to the workspace click on new and let's give this a name of our website for example we will create a website known as testing notion now i can add some icon to it generally we can add emoji as an icon or we can also upload image so this works i can also add cover so generally you can upload your own photo or you can also use unsplash so let's say this looks nice and that's all now you can write information that you want to write in your website so for example you can also attach multiple pages i can have an about page then i can go back to my website i can add the contact page and then i can write more information about the website so write mail at me at the rate krishna jilodha dot com like that i can add multiple things when i hit the slash you can see there are different blocks that we can add we have heading we can also create a to do list hi hello hey all right now this is how we can create the website so think about it is like you are writing your own website it's it's very easy and it's hell responsive as well so i can actually put this contact in the same line as about and i can move it wherever i want and it's really nice the main advantage of using this is you can update your information on the fly and it will immediately ref reflect in your website once it is hosted i can write some information that introduction hi this is a test site that we created on the fly okay for now i think it's enough we will host this website and we will see how exactly we can make the changes and they will appear when i go to the share first thing i have to do is i have to share it on the web so that anyone with the link can see this data i don't want it to work as a template but i definitely want search engine indexing so if i copy this website and if i open a incognito window you can see that i already have krishnaloda.notion.site so this is a standard thing that i got with notion but of course we don't want to use it like this we want to be able to use it using testing notion as a domain name so as of now if you go to this page it it does look like a website right so you have a contact page where when you go you see the contact information when you come back when you go to the about see we don't have any information now if i go to the notion again and if i make any changes in this this is a about page for testing site once i do this and once i go back to the website again you can see that we got that latest text available to us we don't have to do anything so that's the beauty it's very responsive and at the same time it uploads very fast
so that's the advantage you never have to change anything in the actual website you just have to change information in your notion pages and those will be reflected right away so this looks like an interesting thing you can actually create your website you can see people are creating different types of websites using just notion if i want to show my company's website if you go to rottengrapes.tech you will see that this is the website which is hosted for free of cost and i have a portfolio page contact page about page and some more information so you can see that we can create a really good looking website which serves the purpose now that the website is up and running we will see how exactly we can host it so as i said we will be using fruition site to create our script that we will be hosting in cloudflare so i want you to create account on cloudflare for now i will use some fake email id to create account but remember that you need to keep this uh, login id and password with you whenever you want to make any changes so make sure that you are not using a fake email but your actual email so i will go to the sign up email and password and here now i have to write my website so in order to get a free domain i can go to freenorm.com and i will simply sign in and here i can search for a domain so now i will search for the domain testing notion and here you can see that i have testing notion.tk.ml available so i will use ml for now check out and there we go i will get it for free for 12 months and in under the domains you will see your domain available over there so this is the testing notion.ml so once the domain is registered it might take few hours to actually get it activated so for the purpose of the video i will be selecting this rottengrapes.ml as my registered domain and once i have added that to the cloudflare i will see the option page so i will go to the uh, free option for the plan and now cloudflare will do the quick dns check if the name servers are not correct we can actually change the name servers in here so i will go to the manage domains name servers and i will use the custom name servers so we'll continue and in order for us to change the name servers we will copy this name servers and we will paste it over here once the name servers are changed again it might take couple of hours to reflect those in the cloudflare but once you have done this then you can again check the name servers we have to be sure that we have always using https and we are also uh, enabling the minify now again it will check whether the name servers are changed or not so go to the check name server tab now this might take few hours to actually reflect so once this is done you can follow the upcoming steps once the name servers are checked by cloudflare your second job is done which is to connect cloudflare with the free norm now we will move to the third job which is actually using the notion website inside a cloudflare now to actually connect the notion with cloudflare we will be using fruition fruition is an free and open source toolkit for building websites using notion as the name suggests so we have already selected the plan and now we will actually create workers in the cloudflare so go to your website and look for workers 
and here you have to click on manage worker and click on setup free and it will send you a verification email now here we go we will first verify our account okay once the verification is done we will again go to the dashboard click on our website go to the workers manage worker and here we will create a new service now you can give any name to the service that you want or you can leave it as it is and you can then click on create service here click on quick edit and now you want to paste your code in here the code that you will get from the fruitionsite.com so here you have to go to the second step of customizing and generating the script so the first thing that we will do is we will write our domain name rottengrapes.ml and now i have to paste the notion url for that i will go to my notion page and copy the url from here and if you want to add multiple urls you can also do that so what do we mean by that if i go to my current website so to say when i go to the about page i see the about but i also see this unique id number generally this is not recommended right when you go to about page of any company you will see xyz.com/about that's all so you can also do that using fruition so for that i will copy this and i will add a pretty link that when someone goes to about then use this link i will add one more link which is that someone goes to the contact page i want to see this link so when i go to slash contact i want to see this link and it's okay even if you don't have all the links right now i will show you the way you can add multiple links to it later words once this is done you will get your code available over here in the second step you can see that all your about and contact page are now referring to a specific id if i go to the contact page this is the same id that it is referring to that means later whenever we create a new page and we want to add it to the slug we can do it directly over here in the step 3 you can add information such as page title and page description which can help you in the seo now i will simply copy the code and go to the cloudflare service that we just created and i will remove it and paste this code over there now i will save and deploy once we have deployed it head back to the service page go to the triggers and add a route here you want to add your domain so star rotten grapes dot ml slash star so this star means that even if we have www at the starting or even we have anything after the slash it should still work so i will add it as a route and once this is done let's go to the rottengrapes.ml and there you go you have a free hosted website which also has a by default support for the dark mode and the data from your notion page and even if you open it in a mobile it will still work just as fine so you can see the responsiveness is already taken care of you can see that earlier we had about and contact side by side and now they are perfectly responsive even now if i decide to change this contact to the small letter o by going into my notion and changing it over here let's say if i add an icon so you can see that once i'm back the changes are already there so this is how you can use notion to create your own website and have a really easy really handy website that you can even update using your phone without any worries